Hello, now we will continue our learning on gas well deliverability and we will continue our previous section. So in this, in the previous section, we construct or we do the analysis, the gas well deliverability analysis, and we have this data, we solve it using empirical method and we construct the IPR. Now to complicate matters, we will have VLP, several VLPs, vertical lift performance or tubing performance curves. And we have target of production increase of 10%, right? So first I just copy my previous page here in previous case. So I just copy and make this page or this sheet and we will modify the data with our current case. Okay, so first I will change it. I will change the IPR. I will delete it. Right click, select data. I will call it IPR. And for the X values, I will take it from this empirical sheet, the flow rate. And for the Y axis, we get that from the PWF or the pressure. Okay, so this is our IPR. Let me do the format data series. Use solid line, color it yellow. Okay, so this is our current IPR. And select data. We also change the test. Edit. Series X values, take it from the empirical sheet the flow rate, as well as the pressure. Okay, so those are our four test data points. And now we need to modify the VLP curves. And here, so the, the case is more or less like this. So we already know the deliverability of our gas well. We already create the IPR. We know the absolute open flow. Let's say we want to target production increase by 10% and with minimum allowable tubing head pressure of say 1,500 PSIA. And due to the, this requirement of production target, we need to do work over by replacing the tubing and we have three possible tubing sizes. The first one is 2.441, this one, and the second one is 2.992. And the third one is 3.598 in inches. Okay. And yeah, of course, for each tubing sizes, we have different VLP. So I'm going to put the VLP data. I will erase this existing table. So this should be our data. So you can look at this VLP in this curve. By the way, I want to change the marker. I don't want to use marker. Marker. Marker options, none. Okay. And then, by the way, this in million standard cubic feet per day. So after 10, 15, 20, 25. And the PWF is this one. 2000. And then 2100. 2350. 2650, 3200. Okay, I will take the pressure from that. So the first VLP for tubing of 2.441 is this yellow curve. And then for the second VLP, I'm going to input the data 10. 15, 20, 25. And then the PWF, flowing bottom hole pressure, 7, 
1500, 2050, 2200, and 2700. So this is our second VLP. And then the last one is 15, 20, 25, 30 with bottom hole pressure of this one, 1800, 1920, and 2000. So, okay, so these are our possible VLPs. All right. Interesting. 